Hi, it's Eliana, and today I'm going to discuss the remote viewing of the surveillance probe that was shot down over Alaska on February the 10th. And when I was doing the remote viewing on February 11th for it, what I saw this probe doing, it was transmitting various live feed data of mapping portions and features of Alaska, looking for secret bases, and transmitting that live feed data to other satellite sources in space. So it has a live feed connection of a small satellite system on the top of the surveillance probe and other scanning arrays that are scanning features of Alaska and or also it also went into northern Canada the cylindrical object and it was scanning parts of northern Canada it did not look like a spy balloon it did not have any balloon attachments to it it looked like a cylindrical surveillance probe and it had array systems on the left hand side of it on the right hand side of it underneath the cylindrical object and on top of it it had that satellite three-way system transmitting things to space satellites above the earth so this is what this particular cylindrical object was doing and it was the size of an suv car that's what i saw now it's been reported that on february 11th there was a cylindrical object shot down over the yukon in canada so there's a secondary object that was shot down in a two-day span. Cylindrical object. They said in the news a cylindrical object was shot down. I had done my remote viewing. I had finished my remote viewing at 6 p.m., 6.58 p.m. Pacific time. And this information was posted about the cylindrical object being shot down over the Yukon at 8.50 p.m. Pacific time on February 11th. So I released my remote viewing yesterday um, publicly. It went public live. I had finished it at 6.58, doing the drawings, doing the description of the cylindrical object, on February 11th at 6.58, what they took down in Alaska on February 10th. And then the report was on the news that another object was shot down over the Yukon, which is northern Canada. So the first object that was shot down over Alaska had also been scanning northern Canada. It had scanned Alaska and northern Canada. It had been between Alaska and Canada. So this thing was getting around, scanning things and transmitting it back to other satellite feeds with satellite connections in space. So I think it was doing some kind of a surveillance reconnaissance, looking for secret facilities. And it was shot down by NORAD, in the one in Alaska, and the one in Yukon over the Yukon that was shot down by NORAD as well, because NORAD picked it up. And the Canadian Prime Minister ordered it to be shot down, this object flying over the Yukon. Cylindrical object, and it was reported in the news as being a cylindrical object. And I saw a cylindrical object in Alaska. And it's a surveillance probe. I did not see a spy balloon. It was not the same object 
that was shot down over North Carolina because that had a balloon with a surveillance system attached to it. This thing, the cylindrical surveillance probe, did not have any type of any type of a balloon attached to it. So no balloon. And what was shot down over Alaska and the Yukon, they're not saying that it was a spy balloon. They're saying cylindrical objects. In a two-day span, they're shooting down things. So there's some kind of surveillance devices, surveillance probes, floating around above Alaska, northern Canada. So what is so special about Alaska that it has various incursions happening? Last year, the Coast Guard found both several ships from the country of C and the country of R in Alaska, country of C and R in Alaska. So they they basically what they found is several ships, again, um, from the country of C and the country of R, military ships in Alaska, floating around. And this year that Admiral G Frigat that veered off course. It was planning to go to Alaska to do something there and it was redirected back into the Indian Ocean to head back where it's supposed to go for training exercises. But um, that Frigat had it had missiles on it, very dangerous missiles, and it was redirected. So there's something special about Alaska, and it's not just the Alaskan Triangle. There's portal systems. There's energetic Stargate Week portal systems, points of entry in Alaska, and there's also pyramids under the Alaskan mountain ranges. There's ancient pyramids there. So there's, there's a lot of energy in Alaska. There's probably also some secret base facilities there. Why would these ships from the country of C, the country of R, last year and this year, plus now these surveillance probes, why all this surveillance of Alaska? What is so special about Alaska that they're using array devices and surveillance probes to map out the air, the ground, and the water using penetration radar, using the penetration radar to now scan all of that stuff, air, water, and ground. And what are they looking for? Part of the remote viewing said secret facilities the object that was hovering over Alaska. So there's there's something interesting going on over Alaska and now northern Canada. And I don't think it's just country of sea spy balloons. There's more going on here. Because these probes, these two probes, they were not spy balloons. They were surveillance probes with even more sophisticated technology than that country of sea spy balloon. Something interesting going on. Not everything is a UAP or a UFO that's shot down out of the sky over the US or Canada. What was shot down over Alaska that was a surveillance probe. Most likely the same type of probe because it was cylindrical. What was shot down the day later over Yukon. Not Again, not everything has to be a UFO or a UAP. And people are reporting that UFOs and UAPs have been shot down over Alaska. That's not the case. 
in this situation. It's a cylindrical device the size of a car that looks like a surveillance probe, literally, with equipment that is recording landmass, air, water, and it's looking for locations of secret bases and other things that are sensitive and top secret. That's what it's looking for. It's surveying, it's doing reconnaissance. Not everything is a UFO that is reverse engineered technology coming out of Area 51 or somewhere else, and it's not aliens this time. It is somebody's surveillance probe from this Earth. It is from this Earth, and it was doing reconnaissance, surveillance reconnaissance. That's the equipment it has. That's the job that it was doing. That's what was found in the remote viewing of the Alaskan surveillance probe and most likely the same type of cylindrical probe that was shot down over the Yukon in Canada, specifically northern Canada. This is not UFOs. These are not UAPs. So what's been shown in other videos and reported, that's not accurate. Nothing to do with UFOs and UAPs. It has to do with surveillance reconnaissance and some kind of uh, looking operations perhaps spying operations, who knows? But it's surveillance, it's hardcore surveillance. That's what these surveillance probes are doing. That's what they're designed to do, to survey, surveil, tag and map specific locations over Alaska. That was the purpose of what was removed over Alaska. What's the purpose of the one shot down over the Yukon? Not sure probably similar, similar actions. And it was removed because it was thought to be a threat to airspace security, both over Alaska and the Yukon. Two objects over two day span of a period, February 10th and February 11th, 2023. The surveillance probe that was shot down over Alaska on February the 10th 2023, it had a subsonic and electric propulsion system. So it had like a sort of what looks like a fuel cell inside the probe itself, but it's electrically powered and it had waveform energy frequency and it had four rings inside it. So there was four rings with dots and it was encased in a circular cell type of a casing inside there's inside that surveillance probe. So that's the type of propulsion system that it has subsonic and electric propulsion system similar to a fuel cell, but with electric powering components to it instead of needing fuel. So apparently the pilots who shot down the surveillance probe that was over Alaska, they can't really identify what it is because it wasn't appearing on radar as anything substantial. They can't tell what kind of a propulsion system this probe had. And they're turning over the crash site materials over to the FBI and NORAD for, for further investigation. Because again, even the pilots reporting of what they saw is conflicting. Some said that the object that was over Alaska was interfering with their systems, so they couldn't really read what the object even looked like. I think that 
basically it's two cylindrical probes. The one that I remote viewed over Alaska, it's a cylindrical shape that, that was shot down. And also over the Yukon, also a cylindrical shape. That was reported on the news that the object that was shot down by NORAD over the Yukon, that has a cylindrical shape. So they know the shape of the object because they were able to better see the shape. And they're going to retrieve the crashed components of that as well for investigation. So there might be more information to come as they start to piece together where these two surveillance probes came from. And no one knows where they came from. They, they don't yet have telemetry on who sent the probes these two surveillance probes and i'm not going to speculate whether it came from the country of r the country of c or any other foreign countries i was able to remote view what the cylindrical surveillance probe looks like what its components are what kind of reconnaissance equipment it had on it and its propulsion system, the subsonic slash electric propulsion system that it has internally. This is what I was able to remote view and what kind of data it was collecting and that it's connected to satellite feeds in space. So it's a sophisticated piece of surveillance equipment, literally a surveillance probe. And I think the one over Yukon is similar as the one what was shot down over Alaska. 